look, you know, you went with your own mind on that. If you reject a child of God so that your friends won't diss you, you will be rejected by Jesus Christ, whom you say you love. I've seen you do this over and over again. I've seen it over and over again. The social networks are very good for letting us see the real depth of human behavior. I've seen others say they want help from gang stalking. So they reject us so that their group, a professional victim group, who gets together to be professional victims together, won't be seen with one of us because they don't believe in a spiritual solution. So God has rejected them and they've gone off now with their professional victim group on gang stalking that meets every Thursday or their, you know, this victim group, that victim group, human trafficking, this, that, the other thing, and they reject the people of God. And they reject the Lord's ability to deliver them from gang stalking or any of these other maladies, which, of course, the Lord always has and always will be able to deliver people from that. But they've rejected it because, you know, some of their friends are not believers, so they reject God, people of God, in order not to be... uh, causing friction or trouble regarding them, regarding their friends. So the very solution, God, God's people being a metaphor for God, are rejected so that they will have an in with their professional victim friends who are not believers. Yet they say they are believers, but they might as well say they don't believe because they have rejected truth. They have rejected knowledge. They have caused their own demise. They have become, you know, maybe they're not being stopped because they have a professional victim network and they all call each other on the phone. Do they pray? No. So they're trying to do it in the flesh, fight gang stalking. So what happens? They try to fight the gang stalking in the flesh. They ultimately become professional victims. So the gang stalkers win. So there's no deliverance. There's no setting free. They have to be in the professional victim network for the rest of their lives because they have no spiritual power and no faith because it was destroyed, because they rejected truth when they rejected the children of God so that their friends wouldn't reject them, professional victims, all. You know, so when they go to the professional victim conference, they won't have to be embarrassed. Uh, would you say that I'm on target? Unfortunately, the people that this would be intended for probably won't hear this message. Maybe some will. But uh, the Lord's very, very clear. You know, you reject my people, you reject me. You sell out our people so that you can hang around with friends who have already rejected the truth, so you can be professional victims fighting the evils of the world. You will lose. And you'll ruin your life because the Lord will withdraw from you. And without that, you've got nothing, no covering, nothing. People can't, will only disappoint you. Other people will betray you ultimately. My people perish for lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge. My people perish because they have no truth, because they rejected truth. My people, I reject these people because they have rejected me. I reject them as my priests, and I will give them, uh, you know, the folly of their minds. Because they have preferred to play politics rather than truth. They have sold out the truth so they could have a better lot in life so they would not be rejected by their friends, professional victims all in the professional victim network of gang stalking so they could go there without, you know, and be kind of lukewarm, light Christians, not the real thing. They rejected the actual real thing publicly now. So they've been initiated into the dark side, even though they're fighting gang stalking. And being a professional victim, there are people who get into that. You're there your entire life. 
and you're controlled and you're enslaved. Because the people that control the professional victims are the same people that do the gang stalking. Or the persecution or whatever it is. Doesn't matter what it is. The Lord delivers from all. The Lord doesn't say, oh, there's gang stalking. Now, that's really tough. Boy, that's, they got surveillance satellites on you and they're tracking you and all that. Boy, that's tough. No, that's nothing. The Lord laughs at that. He's been delivering people from this reality all this time. It's just called the world, okay? All this time, the Lord's been delivering people. Becoming a professional victim will lead to no solution. You'll have a few friends who will ultimately betray each other and stab each other in the back, as Dr. John Hall said. In those groups, a lot of these people are infighting and rejecting each other right and left because they don't have any truth. It's an exercise in total misery. At least at the end of the day, you know, I may say something that may be unpopular with some people, but if it's unpopular and you reject me, then um, basically you rejected uh, truth. It's not me you rejected. You rejected God through me. Yes, but that's how God sees you. And it goes for any other person that is of God, that is one of his that's trying to tell you something or saying something out there. And they say something, if they get rejected for it, it's not going to hurt them. It's not going to hurt me. It hurts you because what it does is cut you off from the Lord God, from the Holy Spirit. And being cut off from that, you have no way of getting through any of this. And then all your fast friends that you just got are going to turn on you. I've seen this over and over again. Uh, I've seen it recently. Um, You know, again, the social network gives me a way to see this going on. So I track it. So I watch it. And I I pray for the people that uh, the Lord would not hurt them on my account but would give him another chance. But we see this going on time and time again. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be seen with them. Again, it's, it's even more embarrassing from people that like act like Jesus freaks out there, but then they don't want you to make a comment on their. Why do gang stalkers who say they're Christians uh, coalesce into these secular support groups becoming professional victims when Yahweh was there to deliver them all along. Feeling like technology somehow is some big thing bigger than everything else and God can't do it with, with satellites that follow you around. God can't fight that back. So you go, you think sitting in a group and holding hands and singing Kumbaya and uh, drinking uh, lattes, you think you know, like a one big proverbial ongoing forever AA meeting, you think that's going to take care of you if you're gang stalked? Answer, it won't. The stalkers are actually running the groups. Gosh, you know, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating to know what I know. And to have people sit there and, and go against it because they don't, because they're ignorant. In other words, I'm wrong, and I don't agree with you, Z, and it's the only reason you're not agreeing here is because you don't know. It's not because you know something else. It's because you're ignorant. I'm not talking about every specific point. I make mistakes. I'm just talking about the general gist and flow of the message here, you know, that you reject it, Because you don't know or you've been beguiled or someone's filled your head with some other knowledge. You know, something can happen. If you really want truth, you have to seek the Lord for that truth. You have to seek the Lord while he can be found. And you have to say, well, what's the truth here? You should be asking him, what side should I be on? Individual liberty 